Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're here with Mr. V Vass. What's the name of your, your trucking company? Sir, if I could ask you. Lions Transportation. Lions Transportation. How long have you been with them? I own Oh, this is your company? Yeah. Oh, so you're an entrepreneur? Yeah, try. <laughs> How long have you been doing this, Mr. V Vass? Uh, trucking over 20 years. Over 20 years. So I guess pretty much you, you've seen all everything um, that has to do with the lower and upper uh, states. Well, you, you never say you've seen everything. Okay. You've seen a lot to, to know and be careful. There you go. There you go. Mr. B. Vance, what are, what, are, what are the safety tips uh, that you would recommend that the new guys that are just coming into the trucking industry, what do you see? Well, let's just say we're in the back of a, a vehicle right here, right now. We're in the back of a trailer. Can you point out maybe a few things that a new driver would should be aware of that they might not be? Uh, there's some straps that you can buy at a truck stop. They're called safeguards. And what most drivers don't understand is on the back of their doors, they'll see a dangling chain. And not all chains are hooked up like this where they hook up to the door to support the door. Some will have an actual support for the hook to hold your door in place, and some will just have a loose chain like this. But even this one is the same that I'm talking about. What the purpose of these is, a lot of drivers don't know. There'll be two on each door. And what the safeguard is, uh, it's, a, it's got, you've got a clip. You clip it to one side, and then you clip it to the other side, and it makes like a little loop kind of hangs. And what that does is when you open one door, if the weight had fell, if all the product had fell on the door, mm -hmm. that rope stops that from even opening any further. It'll probably come out about this far. It'll scare you, but it won't break. These things Whoa. are made out of metal. So you just kind of look and you can see, and then you get somebody to help you, and they'll know what to do. But that's the, flaw, that's the purpose of those safety belts. A lot of drivers don't do it because they, they figure... They put a load strap or, uh, or a tie bar. Mm -hmm. All of that, that's just a tool, just like the GPS. It's just a tool to help you, but not something for you to handle. That's why they have safe cars. Is it, is it a safe bet to say that you, you could potentially save your life? Absolutely. Because once that door opens up, you're talking almost uh, I think this is what, about 80, 100 pound doors. Sure. And when they come, they come with force. It, it'll knock you out. You're not, not going to be ready. So with the door right. knocking you back, now the car goes forward. It happens so fast, so instant. It's not a reaction. You simply just feel it. So always protect yourself. And if you don't have a safety guard belt, you don't have them. They have my truck stuff. But if you don't have one, the other rule okay. is when you're going to open up your door, you lift up the latch. Stand behind the other door, which would be on the driver's side. Lift up the handle. As soon as those locks unlock, that way you come. So you simply get out of the way. You're already protected. Right. Because it'll hit the door that's locked. Okay. That door ain't going nowhere. It's going to the slot. But the other door will fly open. So you stand back. All cargo is insured. But not your life. Mm-hmm. So, if it goes, it goes. And uh, sometimes, uh, I guess, sometimes uh, there are some drivers that are sloppy, too. I mean, they'll halfway lock a back door. Have you seen the latch that goes all the way to the top? Yeah, the bottom. Some of them, they won't even lock the, the one at the top, but they'll lock the one at the bottom, bottom thinking it's secure. Well, that, that, that right there, that's, uh, it's actually a simple mistake. It's not that they don't know what they're doing, but it's a simple mistake that even shippers do. And drivers do it also. Mm -hmm. When they go to lock it, they stay here. And that's all they're looking at. So the professional driver puts his left hand on the door, pushes it in, looks in the bottom, make sure he's got the hook in. Don't okay. lock it, just make sure you got the hook. Yes, you sir. Look up top, because if you need to, look you can up. move it with your hand. Ah. When you move it, it'll lock in place, close it. Once you've closed it, you step back, and you visually see both sides locked in. And then you put your you see a lot. Uh, Don't ever just assume something's locked. Take a minute. So that is very important to make note notations on 
uh, is at the very top. Just because it's secure at the bottom does not necessarily mean that it's going to be secure at the top. Because right. if you take a look up top, you'll see it move. Uh huh. Yes, sir. So it could lock here, but up there, it's, it's missed the hole. So it only takes a minute, just a couple of seconds, just a look. Use your left hand to push the door mm -hmm. and lock it in place. If at any time you do close it and lock it, but it will not go all the way, it's simple. Just get a hammer, put the handle straight up, put your left hand on part of the handle, and just hammer it okay. and lock it in place. Another reason that that happens, mm -hmm. most drivers don't know, that your trailer is on, not on even ground. <laughs> a lot of people don't know that. Wow. Your, your trailer does this when you're moving the swivel. Yes, sir. It's, it's, it's designed that way so it doesn't crack in half when it's going down the road. Isn't that so? So if you're going somewhere, like let's say you just pulled out and got loaded, but it's, it doesn't seem to lock in. It's yeah. It's got nothing to do with the cargo. And it's got nothing to do with what you're doing. Nothing's wrong. Don't waste the company's time when you're just trying to look for maintenance. Simply find flat ground. You're watching that sucker cook in the car. Ladies and gentlemen, you're getting an expert opinion from an expert, someone who's been in the business for a long period of time, who knows exactly the ins and outs and what to look for. Sir, I, I think it's pretty amazing some of the uh, things that, that you pointed out that a lot of drivers miss. But well, the most important thing you got to remember. Yes, sir. Learn from them. Learn from them. Learn from them. Learn from them. That's the only way you get experience. It's not just driving and backing into the box. Anything that I teach you and show you has happened to me. I've had doors fly open. I've had cargo almost fall on. Oh my God. Simply Look because out. I wasn't properly taught by whoever taught me. So you learn. You learn from your mistakes. Do you, would you say it's the. It, it would be the fault of some of the schools not just hurry, you know, hurry and There's speed up the process and yes, yeah. getting drivers There's out. There's such and a demand for drivers that schools can't really take as much time as they did when we had started, um, and mm -hmm. so they just kind of rush. Hey, as long as you can pass the test so that you can get your license, then they'll bring you out with a trainer for about a month, month and a half. And basically, that trainer's not really teaching you anything. But basically, what he's doing is using you as a company and as a, as a team driver. He's making all the money, and you only make a little bit just simply out here learning. So, a lot of it is trial and error on your own. You're going to get lost. I don't care if you're new or old, I still get lost. It happens because when you're driving for small periods of time, your mind wanders, you're healing. It happens. But the most important thing is yes, never to pack. You have to take full control focus on what's going on and fix the situation. But don't panic. Just, okay, I'm not the first, or I'll be the last. Beautiful, beautiful. What else can you see, uh, Mr. Rivas? Uh, anything about our tire situation uh, uh, that tires, we need to notice and, and uh, look out for? With the tires, you'll notice that I, uh, they'll have this little self inflating. And what this does is it prevents the tire from flattening. And there'll be a little light up ahead in front of your uh, your trailer, which I'm sure you'll see later. Oh, wow. Which uh, the light will come on and then it's. Uh, it'll show you later. But all this does is when you have a flat, it maintains the air pressure. But once you shut your truck off, if there's no air going through it, it eventually will get flat. So what you want to do is, as soon as that light comes on, which I'll show you in a minute. Sure. That means one of these. It's like a, that light doesn't tell you which one, but one of these. So that means you just come out and check. It's usually something you can feel with some air pressure. Some trailers don't have it. So don't think that every trailer has it, only some. And the light that I'm talking about is this one. Okay. This will light up. When that lights up, that lets you know that you're losing air pressure. Ah. Uh. That means to take it somewhere and get it fixed. All it is is a temporary solution. It will not maintain air for a long time. But you got to remember, every time you get a load, the more weight you put on, the more air you push out. Uh -huh. When you see that, if you're getting loaded and you see it, as soon as you get loaded, go ahead and get it fixed. That's it. Wow. All freight can be rescheduled.